Hey guys, what's up? Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. So from the title, a lot of you guys might be thinking, Jimmy, you just did a video about hard drives and hard drive space on the PlayStation 4. And I'm sorry, you are right, but I promise you for a very long time, for lots more videos, you will not see me talking about hard drive space. I apologize, but I did want to make this video mainly because I get tons of comments all the time about the PlayStation 4 console. And one of the most common questions I get is how many games I can put on a PS4 console, mainly the one terabyte. Now, of course, there's other sized PS4 hard drive systems that you can get in the world right now. Of course, a lot of people have the 500 gigabyte system there. I don't even know if there's like a off the shelf two terabyte, but right now, for the most part, a lot of people are either getting the standard one terabyte uh, PlayStation Slim a PlayStation 4 Slim or the PlayStation 4 Pro, which both of those, I believe, have around one terabyte. So that's the question I get. Now, a lot of you guys already know the answer to this. There's no definite answer. So I, I, I have no joke. I've probably gotten hundreds of questions through the past year. How many games can I put on a PlayStation 4? So I'll kind of break this down for you guys. Now, of course, this is going to vary. Now, if I was to say, like, you know, someone asked how many games can I put on my PlayStation 4? Whatever number I put out, whether it's, you know, 20 games or 30 games or 40 games, how many games can I put on a one terabyte system? You know, I put that number out, over 90% are gonna go, Jimmy, you are way off. And maybe even that 10%, a lot of people will go, Jimmy, you were close, but you're still way off. Uh, but kind of do a breakdown for you guys. This is gonna greatly de depend and vary on what type of games you play. Now, there's a lot of games that are well under 10 gigabytes. But then there's a lot of big AAA games that are well over 50 gigabytes, even 60 gigabytes uh, and more. So I just kind of a breakdown with you guys. If you play a lot of like indie games or download a lot of indie games, obviously you're gonna be able to put a whole lot more games on your system uh, versus if you played a lot of like AAA shooters, like say for instance, Call of Duty. A lot of those games are just super massive and take up a whole lot of space on your hard drive. So let me do a breakdown for you guys to kind of give you a basic idea for those of you out there that are gonna get a PlayStation 4, or just got a PlayStation 4, not sure how many games approximately you should be able to download. You're getting around not one terabyte of storage, but more like 850, 860 gigabytes. But I wanna do a breakdown with you guys. Now this greatly is gonna vary on the type of games that you download, whether it is uh, indie games or big AAA games, like you have indie games out there, well, a lot of those are like under five, 10 gigabytes, and then you've got the big AAA games like Call of Duty, a lot of Call of Duty games are well over 50 gigabytes. So it's, this is gonna vary, but I wanted to average things out with you guys and do a breakdown. If on average your PlayStation 4 collection, if the games on average uh, are around 10 gigabytes, so this is like if you're really into any game. So on average, 10 gigabytes uh, per game to average it out, you'd be able to uh, install or put on the system around 84, 85 games. Now, bump it up, on average, if your games average out to 20 gigabytes per game on a PS4 console, one terabyte, you'll be able to put on there uh, around 42 games on that system. Now, kind of getting a little more realistically, if your games average around 30 gigabytes per game, now this is kind of the average that I found for a lot of gamers that I've talked with. Average out around, because you know there's a lot of games under 30 gigabytes, a lot of games over 30 gigabytes, but 30 gigabytes per game, you should be able to put on there around 28 games on your system. Uh, and if you're at 40 gigabytes per game on average, you'll be able to put on there uh, 21 games and then finally, if you have around 50 gigabytes per game, I mean, that's if you're like buying like pretty much the big AAA games, the games with the big patches, the big updates, the big DLC, uh, 50 gigabytes per game on to a one terabyte system, you'll be able to, and again, more working with 850, 860 gigabytes, 50 gigabytes on average per game, you're gonna be getting around 17 games onto the system. So I hope that helps. I hope that answered a whole lot of questions. Uh, if you're going to be buying a lot of games, and if a lot of those games are going to be um, heavy, big AAA titles, I would highly recommend that you get an external hard drive. But guys, 
If you have any other questions for me, please leave a comment in the section below. Uh, I read all my all my uh, comments. Um, I love reading the comments. So leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions. It doesn't have to be PlayStation 4 related. It doesn't have to be you know hard drive related. You know I'm sure you have a lot of other questions you might have game related. Definitely ask away. But as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.